I'd like to introduce Jessica from the United States who takes LDM for multiple sclerosis. Thank you for joining me, Jessica. Thank you, Linda. I'm very happy to tell my story. Could you tell me when you first started to notice the MS symptoms? Yes. Um, in 1996, um, I got optic neuritis, and I felt like an icy veil was in front of my, my vision. And um, the optometrist that I went to said, well, it could be the first sign of multiple sclerosis. And at the time, I thought, well, that's a terrible bedside manner <laughs> you know, to suggest such a thing. But um, sure enough, that's indeed what it was. And then the, I had balance issues. I was bumping into walls, tripping over my own feet. And then I finally got an MRI in November of 1996, and, um, and it confirmed the fact that I had MS. Mm -hmm. Were you offered any medication? Um, I was suggest it was suggested that I take one of the um well at the time i don't I don't know that copaxin was even invented, so it was one of the ABC drugs, mm -hmm. Avanax, Metaceron, or um well, I guess that would be copaxin. I guess Rebus wasn't invented yet, but i I declined because i would I preferred to handle it alternatively, which I did for many years. I did acupuncture and um, homeopathy, chiropractic. Um, craniosacral, many different alternative healing uh, body work methods um, to to try to keep the disease in check. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, so but LDN is the first medication that I've that I've ever taken okay. for Emma. Before you started um, LDN, what kind of symptoms were you experiencing? Oh, I had a whole gamut of symptoms. I had optic neuritis three times. The third time was double optic neuritis in both of my eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I lost the hearing in my right ear. Um, my hands went numb. I was itchy. My face, uh, my partial uh, side of my face, the right side of my face went into palsy. Um, um, and I had... Um, vertigo, a terrible case of vertigo that kept me bedridden for, for some days. And it was just an ongoing um, cycle of symptoms, and then they would clear up, and then I would be fine for a couple of weeks, and then I would get another symptom. It was like a roller coaster ride with this RRMS. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was really quite, quite scary, actually. So before you started, how many weeks would you have free without some symptom playing up? Oh, um, it was, you know, no, no more than, I would say, no more than three months at a time. Okay. That would be without, it, without mm -hmm. an exacerbation. And how did you hear about LDN? I'm not sure the original person. I live in, in the Mid-Hudson Valley of New York State, and it's a pretty alternative area. And so a lot of, a lot of alternative therapies are talked about. And somewhere along the line, I heard about LDN. I asked my primary care physician at the time if she would prescribe it for me, but she would not. I think she didn't know enough about it. This was, this was three years ago now. But she gave me a list of people who would provide, physicians who would provide. So I switched to a doctor who, who does prescribe for me, and, um, and she said she herself, this physician, said, She's seen patients get amazing results from LDN, and happily, I'm I'm one of those patients who's mm. had an unbelievable journey with LDN. So, when you first started to um, take LDN, did you notice any introductory side effects? The only thing I noticed was that my dreams were more vivid in the beginning, the first two or three days. And I thought that was very, very wonderful because I love to do dream work. And so I thought, well, if the only side effect is stronger dreams, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. But, um, but unfortunately, it didn't last. But um, I never, I never, I had any other side effects from the LDN, and the dreams went back to usual. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And how long was it before you noticed any improvements with the LDN? That's hard to answer because um, it, right from the start, when I started, I went from, I was pregnant with my second child, and well, while I was pregnant, my MS symptoms also abated, 
because that's just something that happens when we're pregnant, we're healthier. Um, but I never relapsed after my second child as I had after my first son that I had also during the MS. Um, and I was just I was just fine. So from day one, it's hard to say when I really noticed an effect, but but I've been I've been, had no new lesions, no exacerbations these three years on LDN since um, 2011, and I'm very grateful for that. I feel that my disease has absolutely stabilized. And um, you know, no, no new remissions. It's very positive for me. Well, if you were getting a relapse every three months or more, you know, that was the longest you'd had. Not yeah. having one in three years is quite amazing, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Just incredible. Mm. And what to we... have the disease, I feel that the disease was modified, you know, in in a positive way, and that um, and my neuro, my new neurologist said to me, I wouldn't change a thing in your treatment. So I think he he's not my prescriber for LDN, mm-hmm. but I have a feeling that he would be willing to if if I needed him to, because he doesn't want me to change anything. He said, you're doing so well. Oh, that's excellent. What would you say to other people who are contemplating trying LDN? I would say try it. You know, the worst that can happen is it doesn't have an effect. It doesn't work for for someone. Although there's such a high percentage of success with LDN, that um, that's unlikely, I think. But perhaps it wouldn't work for someone. Everybody's disease is different, and and then you know onto something else. But with the potential that it could work, why not? Why not give it a try? It's it's not expensive. It's oral. It's um, and it's highly effective for so many people my my advice would be try it give it a try thank you very much for sharing your experience with us jessica well thank you so much linda